Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. Well, the engine has been disassembled. As you can see, there are bits of it strewn around. Underneath that cloth there is the bottom end. There is nothing on the table here, the uh, drill press table. And over here, we've got the engine case or one of them and the barrel and the sleeve and a couple of other bits. So what have we been doing? Well, we've been making this little spacer here. And this little spacer here serves a, a quite a unique purpose. It's a flat ring spacer, but it's got a little groove in it, a little reduced height section there and a reduced height section there. And that is to provide chain clearance. So what's it for? Well, I'll show you just over here. Apologies if you feel a bit dizzy with all the camera panning. So we're going to Loctite the main bearings into the engine case. And that's fine. We'll Loctite the main bearings into the engine case. The, the main bearing goes into this uh, bore here. And then there's a circlip behind it. But the bearing really wants to be up against the circlip it doesn't want to be down because the the bearing would foul the chain the uh, timing chain that runs on the other side of this engine case this is the timing side case so what we want to do we want to be able to put the loctate around here push the bearing in situ and have it bottom out but not on this shoulder here bottom out on the spacer ring that we've made over there so the spacer rings carefully measured and made so it's the right thickness. We will lock tight the spacer ring in the bottom. Then we will lock tight the bearing into the bore on the spacer ring. And when we fit the circlip, the circlip should be nice and snug just on the top of that bearing if everything goes to plan. So that's what that space is for. We're doing a little bit of a test here with some Loctite. I've got some Loctite 638. It's either using Loctite 638 or Loctite 271. Uh, just reading the specs and we're going to make a final call as to which one to use. Now we could probably start World War Three on the comments around which version of Loctite is the one we're going to use and whether the properties of one is better than the properties of the other and you know if you want to do that you just go right ahead but it's going to be 638 or 7 or 271 because that's what we happen to have in the bottom of the cupboard and yes it's probably out of date as well i might splash out and buy some more that isn't best before 2007 but i mean does it go off come on can't be that bad can it that's what we've been up to anyway as usual thank you for watching more updates will follow